Here I have uh, Ace Rock C77 Extreme 4. A couple of years ago, I um, tried to flash BIOS. Uh, it didn't work so well. Uh, the computer were more or less stuck. I had it on for maybe one hour. Didn't get through. So after that, uh, um, the motherboard was not in the best. So you can see it's running up to 55 and then restart, restart. So the BIOS is corrupt. It's um, Hmm, not 36. Well, anyway, I tried it many times and I almost threw it in the garbage can many times, but uh, one way or another, I, I said it. And now, I bought this adapter. I'm gonna see if I can make this um, bio ship to work again with this adapter. Uh, you got the bios here, the bio ship. There's a mark there. Let me see if I can go closer. adapter here that does not fit in this type of uh, BIOS BIOS chip uh, it should be a smaller one but this one is one that you can lift off and put it on directly on the BIOS uh, directly on the um, adapter let me show you I'm going to try to Maybe I don't have the right tools for it. There we go. And also, as you can see, maybe if I can, you have a mark here. There are a uh, couple of different ways they can mark where number one pin is. Here, number one is this ship here, uh, this pin here. That's number one. And F, as we look, and the adapter here. You have number one is the red cable. But since I can't use this adapter here, I have to put it straight to the adapter. The You're gonna have number one here. For this, we need to install the BIOS and also a, a program to, uh, to use this adapter. So we start with the BIOS. And of course, you probably already know it, but you need your BIOS for your motherboard. Motherboard. Uh, motherboard. Uh, 
And I will take these are two betas, uh, beta, um, and I will go with one that probably is more stable. So you save that, open. Extract and here you have the BIOS file. We can put it here and as uh, a program, a software for uh, the adapter, I'm going to use the pro uh, program name is Programmer. And this is the latest latest version and download and this one I will put in a new map I just call it ASP Extract it, and then you run the program file, and then we install the adapter to USB port, and I run into. You can call it small issue if you um, start a program and here you have the you can read the ID and you can see error connecting. To solve that problem you go to drivers uh, and the adapter you have and I use I don't know the difference between them but I use the first one. Installed. And try again. And then it, it will find a few of them, but I will take the one. This is my uh, ship here. That one. And now I try to read ship it will take a few seconds and here you have the bios um, some people they save the bios for some purpose. I don't see the the meaning of saving a broken BIOS, so I'm not going to save anything. Uh, and also you can erase it. And then you will have only FFFF everywhere here, if, I, if I'm correct. Now it's done. And we try to read it again. As you see now, there's everything F. So now it's more or less, I think, clean from any BIOS. Then we open. And there we have our um, BIOS for our uh, motherboard and our ship. Open, press here, unprotect, erase, program, verify. Yes. This may take a while.
So it's done. It took two minutes and 27 seconds. So more or less two and a half seconds, uh, two and a half minutes. Uh, and now we will see if, if we can get the motherboard to, to work again. We just disconnect the adapter. Release the chip. And now it's very important, you know, you can see where your mark are. So you know, you get the, the chip back on the same, uh, at the same, so the connector come on the same side as it should be. Maybe you don't see it here, but here I have my mark. That on a point that way. Make sure it's in the right right spot. And then push down. Voila, now it works fine. Now it's open and uh, in, in the BIOS, so it seems, seems like um, it did work. So if you have any questions or comments, just write them below and hope to make some other more helpful videos. Bye for now.